Now anytime I open up Internet Explorer, again the pin program down here on the taskbar, it takes me to what's called the default page or the home page. For me it's Google, for you, depending upon if you purchased an HP computer or a Dell or whatever, they have their own home pages or their default starting pages. Even so, if you come up here and you go to a different web page, let's say Disney again, there it is, type in the first couple letters, come down below, click on it, takes me right to that website. When I'm done with this website, if I want to go back to my default or home page, up here on the toolbar, there's the home. Click on home and it takes me right back to my default starting page when I first open up Internet Explorer. Now if I want to go ahead and change my home page here to something else, for example, let's say that I like reading news, and so every time I open up Internet Explorer, I want to start my day with news, or throughout the day I want to get back to my home page, which is always news-oriented. To change the default home page, all you have to do is go to the website that you would like your home page to be. So if I come up here, for example, and I go to glennbeck.com, hit enter, takes me to the web page here, and then if I want to go ahead and make this my home page, all I have to do is over here on the toolbar, next to the home is a drop-down arrow. Click on it, it expands. You can see there's my default home page, Google. But I want to go ahead and add or change my home page. Click on that, and it says, would you like to use the following as your home page, glenbeck.com? And I've got two choices. I can either say, yes, use this web page as my only home page, or if I want additional home pages, I can say, add this to my home pages tab. So what that means is that I have my Google default home page. It'll add this as another tab, as you recall in the previous training video. You can have more than one tab. So that means I'll have my Google home page on the first tab. The second tab will be glenbeck.com. So if I say yes, now when I click on the drop down arrow, there are my two home pages. So when I click on the home button, it opens up two tabs. Well, first home page, my second home page, my first home page, and then of course I can close out of these, do other searches. Or I could have said that I just want this to be my only default home page. To make any changes, I can just click on the drop down arrow next to the home on the toolbar, go down to remove, and say I want to remove Google. And it says, Are you sure? I say yes. So it removes that as my home page. So if I go ahead and click home, it takes that page to the glenbeck.com website. And that's the new home page. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.